Hi friends, welcome back to Star Labor. Star Laboratory provides latest laboratory practical videos for you. If you are not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell button. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, about the VDRL test versus TPPA and TPHA. So, I think this video is uh, very much helpful for you to get a clear knowledge regarding this VDRL and TPPA and TPHA. So, now let's uh, move to our discussion. In our Star Laboratory channel, several viewers are asking about uh, VDRL test, what is TPPA, what is TPHA, what are the differences between VDRL and TPPA and TPHA, what are the instances uh, we are using this test for the detection of syphilis, so several questions. So this video is very much helpful for them to get a clear idea regarding these tests. First of all, you should understand all these three tests are used for the detection of syphilis. But the thing is, all these three tests are used in the different instances. So let's see in clearly. Commonly, there are two types of tests that can be used in the medical laboratories for the detection of syphilis. So first one is the screening test and the second type is the confirmation test. As we all know, this syphilis is a sexual transmitted disease uh, which can be caused by this trypanema pallidum, a spirochetes. So, there are several types of tests uh, for the detection of this syphilis. So, first one for the screening purpose, we are using this uh, VDRL test, where that means uh, venereal disease uh, research laboratory test. Then, the second one is the ART test, that means automated uh, reagent test. And the third one is the RBR test, that means uh, the rapid uh, plasma reagent test. Then the second types of test we are using for the confirmation of these syphilis infections. Commonly we are using uh, TPPA and TPHA for this purpose. So TPPA means uh, Tipanema pallidum particle agglutination test and TPHA means Tipanema pallidum hemagglutination test. What do we mean by screening test? A screening test is performed as a preventive measures to detect potential health problem or disease in someone that doesn't yet have signs or symptoms. The purpose of screening is early detection, helping to reduce the risk of diseases or to detect condition early enough to treat it most effectively. So this uh, screening test for syphilis are used to detect uh, reagent antibodies. So the reagent antibodies uh, can be appear in the patient's uh, blood or serum uh, actually when the patients are infected with uh, syphilis. So these uh, reagent antibodies uh, can be present in high concentration. So that's why this uh, screen test uh, gives positive results for the patients who are infected with syphilis. But interestingly, some uh, other disease conditions uh, except this syphilis, uh, these reagent antibodies can be appear. So that's why it is a non-specific test. So it's very very important to consider that uh, when the patient is uh, having a VDRL, ART or uh, RPR test positive, uh, it does not mean the patient is uh, infected with syphilis, right? So that's why uh, we have to confirm. So we have to go for the further confirmatory test like TPPA and TPHA. So if the patient's uh, results uh, is non-reactive, that means if the patient results is negative for VDRL or RPR or ART test, that means in this instance, the patient is not having the infection of syphilis. So same like this uh, VDRL test, uh, the ART test and RPR test also can be used to detect these reagent antibodies. So those also non-specific tests for syphilis. They are only for screening of syphilis. So now let's uh, have a look uh, regarding the principle of this VDRL test. I think we have already discussed uh, clearly about this principle, requirements, method and everything in the previous video. If you missed that, uh, please go through that video, right? So in this VDRL test, we are uh, looking for these uh, reagent antibodies. So here we are using this uh, cardiolipin antigens. So that is commercially available. So there is an antibody antigen reactions between these cardiolipin antigens and these reagent antibodies. 
So if the reaction happens, we call it as reactive. So we can observe the agglutinations. So agglutinations directly we can observe under a good light working microscope, right? So this uh, same mechanism uh, happens in this uh, RPR test, that means uh, uh, rapid plasma reagent test, as well as in this ART test, that means automated reagent test, right? There are some simple differences uh, in the methods of those tests, but anyway, the principles are almost same. Now let's discuss about the false positive results of this VDR test. So what do we mean by these false positive results? Actually, false positive means a result that indicates that a given condition is present when it is not. Actually, for example, the patient is actually not having the syphilis conditions, but his or her results is showing the positive results. So that is we called as false positive. This VDR test is sometimes positive in the absence of syphilis, so we call it as false positive results. For example, a false positive VDRL can be encountered in infectious mononucleosis, leopus, the antipospolipid antibody syndrome, hepatitis A infections, leprosy, malaria, and occasionally in pregnancy. The RPR test and ART test is also similar to this VDRL test, so that also can give false positive results. So that's very important, you need to know. Now let's see uh, about the confirmatory test. So what do you mean by this uh, confirmatory test? Confirmatory tests are the tests required to confirm the analysis. Confirmatory tests cause more than the simpler presumptive test. So presumptive tests are often done to see if the confirmatory tests are necessary. So normally in the ordinary laboratories, uh, we cannot go for the confirmatory test directly because uh, these confirmatory tests are uh, much uh, high cost than the normal screening test. So that's why firstly we have to do the screening test. After that we are going for the confirmatory test. So commonly in the laboratories uh, we are using this TPPA, Trypanema Paradigm Particle Agglutination Test and TPHA that means the Trypanema Paradigm Hema Agglutination Test for the confirmation of these syphilis infections. So this is a very important thing you need to understand very clearly, right? So if the patient uh, is showing that uh, screening test positive, the confirmatory test also should be done. So if the both uh, screening test and confirmatory test uh, gives uh, positive results, that means both uh, test results gives reactive, so that uh, indicates the patient is having the syphilis infections, right? So if the uh, only this uh, screening test positive, we cannot confirm whether he or she is having the syphilis infections, right? So both should be uh, shows these positive results. So these are the frequently asking uh, questions by these uh, viewers, right? So if the patient is uh, showing the VDR positive and TPPA or TPHA negative, so what would be the conditions, right? So actually, uh, this is uh, indicates the patient is not having the syphilis infection, right? So except syphilis, see or he may having the other disease conditions or other conditions, right? Mentioned in the previous. I think now you all are clear about this, right? The another question is, if the patient is uh, having the VDRL or other screening test non-reactive or negative results, but uh, he or she is having the TPPA or TPHA positive results, right? So what would be the conditions, right? So this is a very important thing uh, you need to know or you need to understand about this, right? Actually, these uh, test results indicates the patient's uh, previous infections. Actually, uh, the patient is not having the syphilis infections in the present condition, but he or she is having the previous infections of these syphilis, right? I think you may confusing, right? So please don't make it confused. Please try to understand this, right? So uh, actually the VDR test or other screening test we are doing to detect reagent antibodies, right? So these reagent antibodies can be absent, so can be uh, disappear in the patients after a successful treatment, right? That's very important. So that's why after the infections, uh, if the patient uh, get, is getting a, a correct treatment, he or she is having the VDR test negatives after some period of time, right? But this uh, TPPA and TPHA test are used to detect the trypanemal antibodies, right? So these uh, trypanemal antibodies uh, can be appear in a person after the syphilis infections and it can present in his lifelong time. So that's very important, right? So this is a very important thing you need to understand very clearly, right? So if the patient uh, is showing that uh, screening test positive, 
the confirmatory test also should be done. So if the both uh, screening test and confirmatory test are uh, gives uh, positive results, that means both uh, test results gives reactive. So that uh, indicates the patient is having the syphilis infection, right? So if the uh, only this uh, screening test positive, we cannot confirm whether he or she is having the syphilis infection, right? So both should be uh, shows these positive results. So that's why this TPPA and TPHA test results give positives or reactive in this lifelong time when the patient is infected with syphilis in a single time in his life. I think now you all get a clear idea about this uh, VDRL, TPPA and TPHA. So if you have any further doubts, uh, please ask me in the comment options, right? That's all for today friends. So thanks for watching. After watching this video, please give a like, leave your comments and share it. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell button. Thank you.